Hey, my name is Chef. Let's paint Solomon J. Solomon. Um, I used to teach at the Art Institute of Pittsburgh Online, and the school recently shut down and everyone's out of a job. Uh, I don't think I get hired back at the local university since I quit there to work elsewhere. Um, in addition, I'm not down with education anymore. I believe in training and practice, but I believe it can be done on the cheap with YouTube and taking seminars from and workshops from industry people, not professors with no professional experience. So I've decided to upload my videos to YouTube. And here's another one of my demos for my students for extra credit work. Um, now, I didn't realize the concept behind this painting, but um, I just want to say that this is not an endorsement of rape culture. OK, so now that that's out of the way, I just I mean, I just thought this painting was a technically badass, uh, well-executed painting. Um, again, not an endorsement of rape culture, um, but let's get into it. Um, I remember the first time I heard the word rape when I was in elementary school. I didn't know what it was, so I looked it up in the dictionary, and it said it meant to be carried off against one's will. And I didn't understand where the euphemism was. So I thought that meant you would find a chick, pick her up, and place her down in another place. And I don't understand. I didn't understand why why anyone would do this or why it would piss them off so much. Um, so, you know, because, you know, they'd be all like, you know, I didn't want to be standing here. I want to be standing over there. Um, so, again, I didn't know why this was a bad thing. And, you know, I didn't put, you know, two and two together. Um, remember, back in the 70s, there wasn't cable, you know, on, on military bases, you know, there there would be TV, but it would be like days after it would actually be broadcast. And this is overseas and you wouldn't get commercials. They'd replace them with uh, public service announcements. Um, so you'd see things like the sweat hogs on Welcome Back Cotter saying, you know, make sure you get your air conditioning fixed so that you can put a load on your engine or uh, to a child. Shoplifting was another word in a spelling bee. It was a common, I mean, and, you know, there would also be like, don't rape, you know, in the, in these commercials between shows. So you'd have like, you know, Mork and Mindy, don't rape, more Mork and Mindy. Um, I mean, it's a pretty common trope in the, with children on the military base that uh, the, the kid of the base commander would be like the most rebellious and like steal from the PX. So, the, you know, that's why you'd have shoplifting and, uh. In, in civilian life, you'd have like uh, the preacher's daughter, who's usually more uh, DTF than regular girls. So if you've watched Footloose, you know what I'm, I'm talking about. Like when the boyfriend slaps her, all the women that I know that were in my age range who saw it in the theater would say that she had it coming. Um, but nowadays, this is just kind of branch swing, you know, and a girl's got upgrade. Um, so that all said, let's, let's get back to painting and uh, rape culture. Um, if you want to avoid rape culture, you know, avoid college. I mean, women are taught that they're potential victims and that one in four or one in five will someday be raped in her lifetime. If that were true, that means in a city of a million people, there would be a quarter million rapes every year. And, you know, that math doesn't really work out. So, you know, you can avoid college, you know, to avoid all of this, this business. Because even if you don't rape a woman, that doesn't guarantee that later on when you become successful, some girl you may have pissed off or some girl you don't even know will come out of the woodwork to, to screw up your life. So again, the smart thing to do would be avoid all that. Mike Pence only dines with his wife. Be like Mike. But if you're already in college, you know, the smart thing to do would be to avoid all interaction with feminist women who are in the mindset that they're victims, you know, and, and I, like I said, in a city of a million people, the university has a hundred thousand students. If you cut that down to 50,000 women and then dial it back to 10% to women, women who are married, unattractive, too old, too young, whatever, that leaves you with a potential dating pool of about 5,000 women. However, the danger lies in uh, title nine where, uh, a girl at university could accuse you of rape or sexual assault and get you expelled. So even if the sex is consensual, she can change her mind at a later date. I mean, it could be the next day or it could be 20 years from now. But if it's the next day, she'll tell her RA, 
who then informs his higher up, and then pretty soon you're in front of a tribunal. And you don't get to have witnesses, but she gets to have all her friends accuse you and back her up. Now, you don't get witnesses or a lawyer because it's extra extra judicial, meaning they can't put you in jail, but they can expel you and prevent you from graduating. So hypothetically, if you hook up with a girl freshman year, and then uh, that girl decides to take action against you right before you graduate, you're screwed. You know, you're, you're screwed and you have no recourse unless you win your tribunal. Um, but even if you do win, like that guy who won against the mattress girl of Columbia, she might carry her mattress to every class every day. And like white knights will harass you until you, you know, want to fight until you graduate. So the smart thing is to avoid that altogether. Take classes online. Or even better, just date women off campus if you're if you're at university because there's 10 times as many women off campus and they can't title nine you. So, I mean, there may be some decent women at college, you know, like non-radical women, but the risk of picking the wrong woman is too high. I mean, even in life, if the divorce rate is at 50%, you know, you, you know, a woman could significantly destroy you. I mean, I've seen it happen to uh, so many of my friends. They had no idea they were starter husbands. So, again, you're far better off dating uh, women off campus. And because of that, you don't have to deal with dorms, right? That's always awkward. I mean, the only reason you're really considering women that you're in class with is proximity. So if you increase your circle, participate in activities with women who don't have a victim mentality, uh, stay in shape, And uh, you'll have a a good chance. I mean, I should take that advice myself. I need to exercise more. Um, But, yeah, just just avoid people who want to be victims. You know, that's what what they're teaching. That's your social cred nowadays. Um, So in that regard, college is dangerous. And I I think it's really not worthwhile. I mean, I'm talking from the frame of an art teacher who who sees kids um, trying to become artists. There's nothing stopping you from creating art professionally except not having quality art in your portfolio. So, in my opinion, what you really need to do is focus on having great work. And... And the easy path to great work is just copying and studying art that is good and trying to replicate it. Just like learning how to play a song, right? You practice until you can learn to make your own songs. Because there's so much that you can learn from copying a painting that will not come out of your instructor's mouth. And that's mileage that you can't beat. When I was a kid, I used to take my comic books and put them up against uh, the window and trace them. And that's how I learned to draw. I mean, that's how I started. I mean, I did go to college. I did get a degree. I did get two degrees. I have a, a BFA and an MFA in art. So take it, take it, take that advice for what it's worth. That the students that I saw in school, um, Only a tiny, tiny fraction of them had the drive and potential to really make it. I mean, it was better like 10 years ago. A lot more of my students from 10 years ago were working professionals now. But the ones that that I saw, they were just gaming the system. You know, it and it shows in their work. So that all said. Make your best judgment. Learn on the cheap or pay a lot of money and maybe get a degree or before the school crumbles around you. All right. If you find this video informative, um, please like and subscribe. You know, thumbs or subs, it's up to you. Um, that would help me out. Um, I'm putting links down below. So, um, Those are for the devices that I use. And I'm going to keep doing these videos because I think they're fun. I hope you find them uh, enjoyable. 
or at least informative, please leave a comment. All right. Thanks. Peace out.